Model number is 23004 and we have 5133 pictures. The adventures of the bag. It's a 1 by 16 and we have the typical Mold King Ghost Bricks full colored, not desaturated instructions. Normally this here should be stickered and the stickers are from good quality, they are looking really good and if, I'm not, if, I'm not, if I would not say no, I sell this car and uh, I leave the fun to the buyer. Okay, Xin Yu's fire truck. We go through it. Instructions, very good, no problems at all. No mistakes in it. Everything is well here. Everything function, no problem with the instructions. Absolutely not. Great instructions. The design of the assembly is very, very good. Makes a lot of fun. It's easy to assemble. You see what the functions are doing and where what the long gears, uh, uh, the long axles are making, everything for children. Perfect. You don't have to bend, you don't have to bend your fingers to put egg stoppers on places where there's no place for your finger and so on. So this is not a case here. This is a really easy, good assemble with good techniques, building techniques, nothing special, nothing, nothing fancy, but very solid. Everything is really, really safe and secure here. The only thing is that here, that falls. It sits on three half Technic pins, uh, so that's the only thing that always went down. Piece quality. Normally Xin Yu uses go bricks. They use go bricks here too, but I believe this time not only go bricks, because the packaging was a disaster. We have 14 building steps. The building step 1 to 6 were easy, because this were the Gobrix pieces and the normal Gobrix packs. You only have to search your 3, 4 bags and the bags for the whole set, like the pins and the axles. And you have 4 building step 1 bags, no problem at all. 7 and 8, there it starts to fall apart. Then you have to open bags that are not numbered and uh, there are a lot of unnumbered bags. And with building step 9, everything gets rid of. You have to open all the rest of the bags and it's around there you have still 1500 pieces on the table. So the packaging and the, the, the building steps are really horrible in the set. I knew older Qin Yu sets, there was no problem with that, but this time it was horrible. Around 12 bags with no number. One, some of them you needed a hole in the beginning, some of them hole in the end, some of the bags through the whole building process. Oh, a, a great mess. Okay, please Ching Yu, bring this to a really good format. Like all the other companies, this was horrible Ching Yu, please. This is a great set. Ah, I can't see it. This is a great set, makes a lot of fun to assemble and has a lot of cool functions, spilling water tank or spilling water, everything is fine, but the packaging really horrible, horrible, horrible. And the piece quality. Not everything here is from Gobricks, I'm pretty sure. 70% of 
or something like that is Gobrix, so you have the typical Gobrix quality, but 30% have scratches and especially here the grey parts, they are definitely not from Mold King, uh, from Gobrix. They are greasy, the tiles are matte and scratched as hell and a lot of, of, of the pieces had greasy oil substance. Uh, it was it was not good. Not good at all. But the clutch power and everything is is good, all the parts. So you have no problem to assemble this, only that you have more scratches and perhaps you need to wipe the grease out of it. But that was strange. Okay. So we have 5133 pieces. We have power functions in here. We have two Akku boxes. One sits here on, in the, on the roof or in, the, in the, the back row of the seats. Connected here is driving and steering. And the second Akku box sits here. There are the rest of the functions, the, the water pump, the turntable of the ladder, the rise going out and in of the ladder, and what else? The turning. Turning? Ah, the rising and lifting of the whole thing, of the turntable ladder. This lift arm here, this Technic beam, the last one, the red one here, you can easily put down to get to the other connectors. All right. If you don't do it, it's a little bit, you need small hands, and I don't have small hands. So just remove this Technic beam, this 9 length Technic beam, and you come to the connectors. So we have underneath, you see them, two XL motors sitting here. What else we have? We have a servo motor for steering. And we have three L motors. One turns the ladder, one rises the ladder, and one push the ladder out. And the fourth connection is the water tank. There is a water tank. It's about this size, four studs width, this height, this length. Just check out the, the, the assemble videos. There you can see the, the box and the water tank. And in this water tank it's a built-in pump and a, a normal power functions connector. So this is great. You only have to connect here uh, this hose on one side and push a button and it spills water. Absolutely great. Absolutely great. Okay. Um, I measure now the size here when we have all down and compact and then I measure the other things when we have extended everything. So my... Ah, this here... I destroyed it in German take. So we have... Forty-eight and a half centimeters. I measured fifty in the German version, but it's forty-eight and a half centimeters. I'm a little bit. Hmm. I don't know why. Okay, here from mirror to mirror, we have exactly twenty, and here the highest point. 25 and a half. Okay. So now we, where are here? So now we, I show you the functions. First is we rise our turntable ladder. You see, it's working solid. Not the fastest, but it's working solid. The actuator here is from not bad quality. It's not like a, a molking actuator. That's easy. So, okay, this is the highest position. So then we extend the ladder.
Here on top we have two 32 length axles that is should be mentioned or mention worth mention mention worth <laughs> you know what I mean because you don't often get 32 length axles. So okay now the ladder in whole extension is 74 centimeters and the height at the highest point is exactly 70 centimeters. So this is a, a pretty impressive set. Okay, another thing is... We obviously can, can turn this. Okay. Well, and I bring this down to show you the water spinning function. Several hours later, so just watch here my old coffee mug now it's empty because there's more in the tank not now but <laughs> it's around 80 milliliter but I used a lot for the German take but you see it's really actually spinning and uh, now I don't try this it's old cold coffee and water out of a thing I couldn't clean. <laughs> I don't know what's inside this tank. <laughs> so, and really in the beginning I want to make this here for you and then my daughter said Daddy, what's inside this tank? Do you think the Chinese have cleaned it? And then I was gone with the idea. I thought, no, perhaps all the parts here were really greasy and oily. And I don't want this in my mouth. Okay, so only the cup. We can open the doors. They are solid, no problem at all. Here on this side, we have some tools. Some vents and distinguishers and X and everything a good fire man needs. On the other side, still the doors. And here we can access the water tank. See here. And here a little bit to the electronic. And in the back, like I showed you. It's the other. You see this in the beginning on the photos. Okay. Ah, driving. Obviously. This is strange. Normally, or it says you should Man, 
I believe I did a mistake. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Ah, okay. I don't get it that two of the Aku, that both Aku boxes work at the same time. You can hear s switch through four channels, two chan channel for each box, but I don't get them work s uh, simultaneously. I can drive. You see, it's not the fastest. We have a differential, but no suspension. And what's now? What's now? That's strange. Ah, okay. One wheel still wants to turn this here, it doesn't want to turn. The other side turns. Here's something wrong with the differential. Okay, but I show you driving in the end of the, of the set and the, um, the radius. It's a pretty short radius for such a big car and heavy car. Okay. Sorry for that. I, I will fix it and show you in, in, in a clip at the end. I don't know. It works the whole time. Perhaps I played too much in the German version. Okay, so for who is this set? For everyone who likes what you see. For everyone who wants the water tank and said, I need this. You get another 5000 good pieces you can always use. But for me this is a set to build with children. Absolutely. The, set, the functions are easy. You see what each function, how it works, where it works, what gears are needed, what connectors are needed. So this is a really good set for children to bring their they to more complex technic sets. Start with the easy technic set, driving and steering. And then a bigger one, perhaps a little crane with 2000 pieces, it can up and down, the same function as here is in a small crane. There's one from Carter with 2,000 pieces uh, for 80 euros or something like that. He has cool functions, it's not too big. And after that you can really start with your children to, buy, uh, to build this here and it will love it. I believe this is a very cool set for children. It drives, it steers, it goes up, it goes down and it spills water. You can really, really, really Extinguish fires here. That's really cool. That's really really cool in my opinion. And it looks decent. It's a decent design. Okay, the, the pinnacle would be LED lights for here. That would be super great. But I'm really happy what I got here. It's a good set. It's worth the money. It makes a lot of fun. If you have any questions, write it in the comments. Stay tuned now when I say bye, because I give you the clip of driving and steering in my kitchen when I fix this. I don't know where. Perhaps one axle got two. Ah, I believe I know what's wrong. what's wrong. Okay, you see the car in a few seconds again, and you see me perhaps in one of my next videos. I'm Frank, your Brick Freak, and I catch you in the next one.